tonight on the Sunday edition of the CBC Alberta News. The Old West and the wrangle over who should pay to preserve the heritage. Cold, slimy beasties, which aren't so beastly after all. And in sports, the new look Oilers take on those other guys. Good evening. Cutbacks and new sources of revenue. Sounds like a speech from the throne. But this time, the formula for recovery comes from the new owners of the Alberta Wildlife Park. The president of the Helen Ridgway Society says populations of the various animal species at the park will be reduced drastically. Howie Hagen says the sale of surplus animals should bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hagen says the Ridgway Society will also look for financial backing from private companies. The society took over responsibility for the park on Saturday after months of uncertainty about its future. If you live in or near Edmonton, you can count on seeing and hearing a lot about AIDS this week. Well, at first glance, it may seem as though an AIDS awareness week is hardly necessary. Who doesn't know about AIDS? But the people sponsoring this week say we don't know enough about AIDS, and some of what we think we know is just plain false. <laughs> easy for you to say. Tonight at the University of Alberta campus, AIDS Awareness Week was introduced quietly with a candlelight walk. This is a very big step for our people because mainly we're talking about these issues that's been shoveled all the way back. We're an organization that very much believes that we're not dying from HIV and AIDS. Later at Athabasca Hall, speakers, speakers told participants about their hopes for AIDS Awareness Week. There will be film showings, workshops and displays throughout the week. There's been a good deal of controversy about the creation of a Western Heritage Center in Cochrane, west of Calgary. Nobody seems to quarrel much with the idea of commemorating the lives of Alberta's ranchland pioneers. The problem is money, as in who pays and how much. We have more now from Russell Outridge. When it's finished, it will be Alberta's only museum dedicated to early ranchers. The Alberta government donated the land. It offered to pay $5 million, half the cost of construction. But the cost has gone up from $10 million to 11.8. And now there's wrangling over how much the province should pay. They took that proposal to the provincial government. It was reviewed again, and the consent was given to increase the project total cost to 11.8, but with no additional provincial funding. This is how fundraising got started for the Western Heritage Centre, an old-fashioned cattle drive. Donations over the past two years add up to $2.8 million. But when the province was asked to match that, it refused, writing a check for $1.7 million, saying those were the real construction costs. One year ago, when the cattle drive rode into town, the Heritage Centre said it had to raise $5 million. But now, because the province won't go beyond its limit, the centre has to raise that much and more. Now that the centre has some money from the province, it can call for tenders and begin construction. And fundraisers say it will be a lot easier to raise money as soon as people can see something happening on the site. Russell Outred, CBC News, Cochrane. Generally speaking, reptiles get pretty bad press and have done for a long time. We use them as images in our language, slippery as a snake or eyes like a lizard. They're not kindly terms. At the Valley Zoo in Edmonton today, dozens of kids and their parents saw and heard a more knowing and sympathetic view. Generally, snakes are not slimy, they're smooth. Slimy or smooth, there was no doubt about the fascination these creatures held for the kids in the audience. He feels like some, some, some soft, I think. Difficult to say how parents reacted to this news from trainer Wayne Sager. This little guy though, the Royal Python, very good pet. And we really hope that if people take them and get a uh, reptile home, they'll take as good care as they would with a warm-blooded animal. The big hit of the afternoon was, in Sager's words, a real hunk. This is a monitor lizard. This particular lizard can grow up to six feet in length. Now this is a no iguana, this is a hunk of lizard. Now as you can see he's getting defensive. What he's done is he shut his eyes and he's gone a little bit stiff. It means he just basically wants me to go away and leave him alone. Monitor lizards were not on the recommended pet list. They're teeth like snakes all 
slant backwards. So once your finger is caught in there, it's like a fish hook. You can't pull it straight out. You've got to push it into their throat if you can get their jaws open. Sager peeled back some of the mystery about reptiles during this afternoon's encounter session, talking about their feeding habits and how to care for them. And most important, by letting these young people get close enough to see that there is nothing sinister about these colorful creatures. I said he's easy to handle. Well, at least we had a decent weekend. Forecasters at Environment Canada say we're heading back to what they like to call more seasonal temperatures for next week. For some regions, that includes gusty winds as well as clouds and showers. In Calgary right now, there's some high cloud. It's 14 degrees. Edmonton has a few clouds as well, and it's 15. In the south tonight, a few clouds, lows of 8 in Lethbridge, 6 in Calgary. Now, Lethbridge is also in for southwest winds overnight of 70 to 120 kilometers an hour. Tomorrow will be sunny across the south with highs around 17 or 18, as well as west winds from 35. For the mountain parks, lows near 2 or 3 tonight, sunny and 13 in Jasper. Look for some morning clouds in Banff, clearing by noon with highs up to 17. A few clouds tonight for central Alberta with lows of 7 in Edmonton, 4 in Red Deer Monday. A few afternoon clouds developing along with highs of 17. Down to 2 in the northeast overnight, becoming cloudy in Wood Buffalo with a chance of showers tomorrow along with highs of 11. Fort McMurray will be cloudy with showers and uh, highs of 14 degrees. For high level, lows of 4 overnight, becoming cloudy tomorrow with highs of 10 and gusty west winds. It's going to be 9 in Grand Prairie tonight, mainly sunny tomorrow with west winds of 50, gusting to 90. For the coming week, mainly clear and sunny in Calgary with highs in the mid-teens or a little bit better. Thursday looks like the best day of the week when it's going to be sunny and 19 degrees. For Edmonton, mostly clear with a few clouds tonight, becoming cloudy Monday, clearing up midweek and clouding up again. Oh, should be clouding up again on Thursday. Temperatures will be in the mid-teens or slightly higher, and that is just a little bit above average for this time of year. That's it for news and weather. Please stay with us because Mark Connolly's up next with Sports Extra. Can we call Granddad now? Okay, honey. You dial. Weather's got one of our uh, Grand Prairie links down. BSC, can I get a reverb to Calgary on the fiber, please? Traffic to the West Overseas Gateway looks normal. Hello? Hi, Granddad. Thanks. What's up? Good night, Kathy. It's snowing. Nah. Really, it is. AGT, we bring you world to you. Sports fans everywhere are really getting into new over-under from Sports Select. Come on, Al. You know a well-coached offense will always win. The score will be over. John, that team is coached and played tough. Yeah. They'll hold them. Yeah. Under. Over-under from Sports Select. Just pick whether the combined game score will be over or under the score listed. This armchair coaching stuff is easy. Now, if I were coaching, it's, it's over. over. What did I say? Over-under. New from Sports Select. Get in the game. You don't have to be a model to look good on the runway. To find true love. Or to light up the town. The new Mazda MX-3 Presidia with the only optional V6. Looks good on you. Introducing a new taste sensation from Breton. Open Sesame. Sesame. New Sesame Breton. A different way to enjoy your favorite cracker. Dentists tell you to change your toothbrush every three months. So does the new Oral-B Indicator. When the blue band fades halfway, it's time for a new toothbrush. Indicator. New from Oral-B. Most dentists recommend Oral-B. on Alberta Sports Extra. The Lions dump the stamps to create a log jam in the West. More ex-Oilers return to the Coliseum with the Kings. And the Jays and the Twins finish up and get ready for the playoffs.
Hi, everybody, and welcome to Alberta Sports Extra. The NHL season is in full swing now, and the Edmonton Oilers were entertaining more former teammates who have returned in other uniforms. Charlie Huddy and Yeri Curry 